Back to Elvis. encounter in a restaurant parking lot. A man and woman are confronted at gunpoint, forced to the ground, and robbed of their belongings. The same man is. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's definitely his son, man. Those fucking skinny ass ankles, fucking long ass arms. That's a son, man, man. Think about it. these are these are these are tigers too. Let me tell those are tigers. Dark Counter skin. in a restaurant parking lot. A man and woman are confronted at gunpoint, forced to the ground, and ro or they could be on burritos. Robbed of their belongings. The same man is. Think about how scared they had to be because he'd still shoot them. You're not out of the woods because you're complying. Look how comp. What's the what's the word for compliable? Look how comparable. <laughs> look how compliant. Look how compliant. compliant. There you go. Damn it. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Look how compliant they are. And they're still not out of the woods. Robbed of their belongings. The same man is believed to be involved in at least one other armed robbery. KTLA's Carlos Sacedo live in Koreatown with more on the investigation and the warning tonight. Carlos. Micah and Cher, good evening. That terrifying incident happened in this parking lot last week. The unsuspecting couple gets ambushed by an armed man. And tonight, police, they're still looking for that suspect. They're asking for the public's help. A date night takes a turn for the worse for this couple walking to their car. A man with a semi-automatic pistol ambushes them from behind, demanding their belongings. They comply, dropping to the ground while the suspect removes items from the victims. Those are tigers, right? Who complies that fast? Look at the tigers. tigers. Yeah. <laughs> they, tigers. The way they drop to their knees, their whole their whole like, you know what I'm saying? Like tigers, that's these are tigers, man. Including money, debit cards, cell phones, and a designer handbag. Obviously, they were scared and traumatized. You can't walk in the neighborhood anymore. The robbery happened last Wednesday around 10 at night outside Harawa, a Salvadorian restaurant in Koreatown. The owner asked us not to show his face over safety concerns. My employees this morning, I, I tried to get the word out to the employees because that's why I'm here. I, I'm going to walk them out when they get into their car. And this morning, you know, they're kind of scared to walk by themselves, even in the parking lot. LAPD yeah. says the suspect ran off. I, I bet if they're tight, I think yeah, they're they're tigers, but I bet they're either first or second generation tigers because if they were straight straight from Korea to the United States, more like more more likely than not, they were shot back because they have um, they had the military because they had the military training in uh, in South Korea. Yeah, but everybody like, doesn't have that training. And Mossy, look at how he ran up on him. He got the drop on him. Like Mossy, you would have reached. You would have reached. Yeah. Oh, you got shot. Hey, if, I would have. Yeah, got reached. shot, Marcy. Pro, Marcy. Pro, pro, I you, probably would have gotten Marcy, shot. Marcy, look at, shot at this point. At this point. Okay, let's let's just let's just say this, Marcy. Yeah, you're walking. He's grabbing her on her ass. Look, he he fucking playing with her butt cheeks and shit. He doesn't <laughs> hear this guy. This guy. He, he obviously. This guy obviously came out of nowhere. But in a restaurant parking lot, a man. If you would have had the will with all the reach and gun that son man down like that, you're a bad motherfucker, Marcy. And you done did it before. This ain't your first rodeo where you just reach and gun this guy down after he got the drop on you like that. This guy's probably got bodies too. This is a guy that, that'll kill you like he it ain't no big deal to kill you. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't fucking ruin his day. But that's the reason that yeah. but that's also that's the reason why I would shoot back. Because, like you said, even if even if you comply, you're not out of the woods. You never know if they'll still shoot. You don't know if they'll still shoot you, even if you get even if you give up everything, including your shirt. <laughs> so it's, it's not so it's, it's not a, it's not a risk. Especially you know, if, I'm, if I'm with my wife, that's a whole. That's a I'm I'm a I'm entirely different. I'm a, an entirely different person than when my than when I'm myself. Cause I have her to look out for. Right, right, right. I feel you. So once you would have yes, already been looking. You wouldn't have been slipping. Yeah, like that. that's it. I would have already been looking. As soon as I saw someone in, in all black, and inside, and then also I'm I'm already, I'm already open carrying, day or night. I'm drawing. I'm drawing. As soon as I saw that all black, my hands on my gun, and I'm looking at. It, I was like, okay, what's this, what's this going to be? But now you're having a shootout with your wife. Now instead of just getting robbed, 
you're in actively in a shootout with a son man who's gonna hit like he definitely gonna shoot your wife if 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 she's near anybody who's close by is getting shot by that other guy it's yeah i mean that 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 may happen but it's better than the alternative than just complying and then getting shot in the pro and then getting shot afterwards so i can't take that chance okay the same man robbed another victim in the 800 block of third avenue roughly two miles away he was just waiting for whomever was going to come down the sidewalk or into the parking lot you know he was probably waiting for somebody who was not even thinking about that you know you're leaving a restaurant you just left had dinner and you're not you're not expecting something like that to happen all of a sudden authorities describe the suspect as a black male six feet tall weighing 180 pounds approximately 30 years of age wearing a black hoodie tactical boots and gloves carrying a black semi-automatic they believe he could strike again i think we're all fed up with this you know we used to be a community where you could walk your dog we can go out with a kid. You're fed up. Yeah, right. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all ain't fed up. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready to do what it takes. I'm tired of hearing this fed up shit. If you fed up, you ready to bring fucking Jim Crow back, man. You ain't ready to bring Jim Crow back. <laughs> you ain't fed up. No, seriously, man. I mean, like, that's, look, do you see the way we live? We live yeah. differently than other people. We're different. We're different than other groups, man. And that's why I don't live around other some people. <laughs> right. <laughs> just, that's, simply, that's simply it. I don't live around. I don't, I don't live around this. I don't live around the some people. I mean, if that's if that's if that's living. Then I don't want to be. I don't.